Howdy there and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Now, here we are back outside the entrance to Clanker's Cavern, where I want to do a little bit of exploring that I neglected to do in the previous episode. So let's get started on that before we proceed to the next stage. As it were, so to say. No one will And we're walking up. Good start here, lads. Tell you. It's Grunty's gossipy sister. Another switch. The tunnel that really, really, really needs cleaning. If it's the theme of the next stage, that's fine. That's fine. And another jigsaw puzzle. Can't you get here any faster? Come and fight me, I'm the master. Mistress. She's a little gender confused, it's okay. There we go. One fell swoop. Calls yourself the master, I'm the jigsaw master. Don't fucking mess with me. And let's go see what that new stage is. Seems to take place in a waffle and daub hut. So I can only assume it's ancient Celtic themed. You know, maybe there'll be some hunting and gathering. Maybe some you know, bronze work. That'd be cool, right? So we proceed up this here hill to the second note door of the game, and as you can see, we've more than enough to get through it. Ritzy. Somebody's somebody so hideously ugly, she's incredibly vain to have a statue like that. I mean Damn. Slutty feathers hiding in the swamp. And so, okay, Bubble Gloop Swamp is the stage. Let's wrap and roll. What's behind us? A frog! A new move for Beak Face. Oh, look, it's right here. That's kind of neat. Waiting boots. <laughs> No. And you're getting confused. Yeah, because he's a dumbass. And bottles scratching so much actually made me itchy. Anyway, let's leave this swamp for now. Take care of a little business. Nice jacket. Coward. And they went here and find us some waiting boots. Which, as bottles explain, I used to go to hostile environments such as swamp or later Ugh. quicksand for some reason. Dash repair real quick. Break this. Well, we can't get in there because we're too big at the moment. So let's just slide down and another jigsaw completed. Four. 
Freeze Easy Peak. A level we will not see for many, many episodes to come. Well. Yeah, that's true. I can sympathize with her on that one. If anyone has ever tried to talk solely in rhymes for as long as possible, uh, no, I'm not going to try it now. But it is quite difficult. Rubber, proper flart. Ah. Awesome. Some of these things actually have good stuff at the top of them, that one doesn't. A ginger or a git? Yeah, frogs, like most enemies in this game, are pretty easy to kill. Eggs. Why'd I go up there? Curiosity got the better of me. And yeah, these aren't here for no reason. You come book up. I've mapped up. Ugh. Oh, a jiggy switch. <gasps> it's right above me. Only 45 seconds to get to it. My god. These narrow paths will not deter me. Hells yeah. Talk about a bridge over. Troubled waters, right? You know, forgive me my terrible joke. If you can. That motherfucking turtle, man. Yeah. You rarely, if ever, have to actually go along precarious little paths like that in this game. I tend to just jump them. Because it's quicker. You're less likely to fall off as well. Oh my god. Eat you fiend. Yeah, we'll get up there. Don't worry. All in good time, my pretties. There's one big ass egg. God only knows what kind of magnificent creature would hatch from that egg given the proper time. And no one will ever know, because we're gonna smash this egg up. Oh my god. Possibly preventing the return of the dinosaurs to this world. And almost certainly upsetting somebody. Somebody has trouble laying that thing. And all for gold. What's this for? I really have no idea. Hello! Piranhas. Use your piranha water. Keep your smelly feet. Uh, yeah. Let's grab these and see if they'll carry us. Oh my god. Far enough to get those notes. Even if they don't. I can brave a little damage to get them. Oh yeah. That was handy. Good timing for the leaf as well. Clearly I orchestrated all of that because I am a genius and expert at this game. 
Yeah, if you remember those snippet mutants from the last level, seems like they got friends. Another fucking gang. In fact, the only annoying enemies in this game, in my opinion, because they take two big things to hit, or to kill, rather, and they hop around like knobs. What am I doing? Whoa! Let's kill him the cool way. Hell yeah! Two chill for a spinach. Take a go, you cowards! That's right, kids. That's what you do with bullies. You use your slutty feathers to beat them up. If that doesn't work for you, well, you're actually doing it wrong, and you deserve to be bullied. Oh, my feet are so numb and cold. Agony! That's a bit better. Ah, how does that noise represent someone feeling better? It's so awful. It is the sound of purest agony. Jesus. I'm a pretty harsh guy, but... Ooh, warm at last. I should like this regurgitated jigsaw piece. Think of that as the worm-like tendril that the snapping turtle uses to lure its prey. Because I am going right on in there. Only to find that he has swallowed an entire school of smaller turtles. Including a character from Diddy Kong Racing. I place the famous tip to fly the mouth of my latest work. A musical genius, this guy. And suddenly, I'm being taught music. No, I haven't forgotten it. No, I've got to do it again. Oh. Light blue, yellow, red. You'll have to forgive me, viewers, if I mess this up many times. No, what? What? I'm quite tone deaf, and uh, music hurts my brain. And I think we're going to have to leave it at that for episode 7. See you guys in episode 8. Mm.